Hello. Okay. Thank you all of you guys so much for coming down. Today, me and my beloved organization, the Music Club, will be performing a concert for you guys. A concert to raise awareness and to spread up the word about things that are happening to many people around the world. Specifically to the people affected by the war in Ukraine. The millions of people that are separated from their families, left as refugees, and the earthquake that shattered cities in, cities in Turkey and Syria. Now, my club has had it in us to do it for a long time, and for one good reason. Because music, music is powerful. Whenever you're in crisis, you try to go to your favorite melodies, be it for comfort, be it for strength, be it for bravery. So today, with the power of music, we will get to show you guys and try to get you guys to empathize with the many, many people struggling and in need of our help and recognition. There'll be a, a whole concert for you guys to enjoy. And, I mean, hey, there's free popcorn and cotton candy, which will be available within an hour. Okay? That's very good, I know, that's very good. Okay, so we'll have our first set of performances starting slow, melancholic, talking about how all of these events have separated the beloved, the friends and families. After a short video, we will start on our first performance. Okay, thank you guys so much. Cause it gets so hard to breathe When you're looking at me 
Hello? Okay, there you go.
she savors your glory? Does she laugh the way I did? Is this the part of your story? One that I had never lived. And maybe one day you'll feel lonely. And in your eyes you'll get a glimpse. Maybe you'll start slipping slowly and find me Sometimes I look in her eyes And that's where I find a glimpse of us And I try to fall for her touch But I'm thinking of the way it was Said I'm fine, said I'm moved on I'm only here passing time in her arms Hoping I'll find a glimpse of Sometimes I look in her eyes And that's where I find a glimpse of us And I try to fall for her touch But I'm thinking of the way it was Said I'm fine, said I'm moved on I'm only here passing time in her arms Hoping I'll find a glimpse
hearing these soft, these melancholic songs about love, it makes me realize something. You know, war, all these earthquakes, all these disasters, they steal so much from us. They steal and steal and steal. Our friends, our fathers, our mothers, brothers and sisters, all of our beloved. It leaves us alone. But you know, in all of these times, these hard, dark, and difficult times, love, it's like a glimmer of hope. It keeps us going, keeps us moving on in these difficult times. And you know, love can be for different things. As I mentioned, your friends, your family, your beloved, or even your country. Heck, I'm from Uzbekistan. I really love my country. And, <laughs> and I know that you guys love your countries as well. And I'm pretty sure there's many, many other things that you guys love. So, you know what? I'm gonna go around the audience and ask you one thing that you guys love that keeps you going in the times of difficulty, okay? All right, all right, who wants to go? All right, all right, we have Lee over here. Lim, even better. Family. Family, Family. true, true. They're the closest to us. And even, <laughs> even in the times of difficulty, they're here for us. You know that even if everything, everyone and everything is gone, they'll be here for us, correct? Who else do we have here? Who else do, oh, we have Wei. Let's see what she has to say. Okay. You wrong. Oh wow, that's even better. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, what about you, Min? Uh, my friends. My friends, sure, sure. Everything like friends, family, all of that matters. And all of us gives us the strength. I know Vincent wants to say something. All my friends, family, and especially Ro. Love you, Ro. Thank you so much, thank you so much. But what I wanna say is, these are examples of love. You know, because war, it, when hosting this event, we wanted to show that war is not about, it doesn't have to be about sadness. It doesn't have to be about crying and funerals and death. It's, it can be about love. It can be about re regeneration. And fun fact, by the way, for all of you guys talking about friends and family, my family and friends might be watching right now because we're streaming this event on multiple platforms for people that were not able to make it. So that is pretty cool. So if you guys want to join in and to everyone joining as well, thank you, okay? And in the spirit of love and the spirit of perseverance, the next song will talk about survival, about going on and emerging triumphant. Thank you so much and give it up for the next uh, round of performances.
This song here is the one that I talked about, the one about strength, a powerful song to get you going and to make you remember that nothing is lost. The brightest things are in the future. And for all of these people, all these people in Turkey, Syria, and Ukraine, the better times will come. And okay, and we want to demonstrate it with this song that we'll be playing right now. Okay? Thank you guys. And I hope you enjoy.
Thank you. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Okay, cheer if you enjoy the show. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are we ready? All right.
everyone. <laughs> uh, I have a little um, Broadway classic opera for you, so. There's a place for us Someday a place for us Peace and quiet and open air Wait for us somewhere to gather in time to share hold my hand and i'll take you there somewhere someday i'll find a new way of living we'll find a way of forgiving There's a time for us Someday there'll be a time for us Time together with time to spare Hold my hand and I'll take you there so Thank you so much. singing when I fall in love.
roller coaster of emotions, songs, and different experiences. For now, let's take five minutes or so as an intermission for you to guys grab some popcorn, to relax, talk to your friends, and you know, get into a lighter mood because I know stuff like this can be pretty, pretty hard. So let's take five minutes off, talk. If you guys want to go to the bathroom, go right ahead. Afterwards, we'll have a speech by our guest speaker, okay? All right, thank you guys.
Uh, so we're done with the intermission. I hope you guys had a chance to get some water, get some popcorn, maybe go to the bathroom, I don't know. So done with that, we'll go on to the next stage of our performance. And I have a word here from our guest speaker. A, a wonderful guy, a guy who's like brother to me. Someone who's lived in Turkey for years and years and years, has friends there that have, whose houses were destroyed, whose families are no longer there. He knows it, he feels it, and he will talk to you right now. Give it up for Arian. Okay, all right, so excited to be here. Um, first and foremost, I would like to thank uh, Music Club and everyone who contributed to make this event happen. So, to all of our uh, guests and everyone here, welcome, welcome, and welcome. Okay, so, to start off, introducing myself. Um, I'm Arya Narayi, uh, I use he, him pronouns, and um, so I was born in Afghanistan, and uh, before coming to the United States in 2019, uh, my family and I lived in Turkey for seven years. Um, and at Green River College, I have the honor of represent, I have the honor of serving as the a one of the AHGRC senators, um, president of Math Club, as well as Vice President of Rotary Club. Um, outside of school, you will see me um, enrolled in many other activities um, to help our communities become a better place to live as well as thrive. So, why I'm here today, right? I'm here today to talk about the major earthquakes that happened in Turkey, which not only affected the cities and states around it, but also to outside countries, including Syria. And to start off, the first major earthquake happened in 2023 in Turkey was in Kahramanmaraş with a magnitude of 7.5. Within the next seven hour, another major earthquake with a magnitude of 7.5 happened afterward. Two weeks later, in Hatay, another major earthquake with a 6.3 magnitude. And just a week later, once and once again, in Malatya with 5.2 magnitude. Well, you may now asking, what are these numbers really stands for, right? And then to just give you a glimpse of what's happening, an earthquake with 8.0 magnitude, none of us here would be able to stand here. And this building, probably wouldn't look as beautiful as now. So that's kind of the tragedy that have people been going through in Turkey as well as Syria. Damage, 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 the sad part. Until today, there are more than 57,000 people who lost their lives. And there are about 7,500 of them are happened in Syria. And as you can see here, the epicenter and, and nearby countries as well as cities, which also include Syria there. And this is just the beginning. There are so many people that are still under collapsed building that are looking for hope. And believe me, this number is going to duplicate in, in a pretty short time. Okay, so this slide really breaks my heart because these are some of the realities that lots of people have been facing for the last two months. I've heard stories, I've heard news, which broke my heart in many ways. And then I'd like to give you guys just a couple of stories that I've heard that I would like to share. After the earthquake, there were families, there were grandchildren, there were people, there were children that were under collapsed buildings. And I saw videos of parents holding their children's hand and not letting go, even though those children sadly won't be here after all. 
Another story that I've heard that I would like to share. So there was a little girl that called his dad just upon the earthquake, letting him know that everything here has been shaking and uh, she's so worried and don't know what to do. And after the earthquake, her dad was able to hear her voicemail. But sadly, the only thing she could do is, the only thing he could do is just listen to her daughter's tears and, and just look at the sky and see what else he can do. Because at that moment, everything was lost. But at these moments, even though these tough moments, I grew in a country where people would always stay hopeful. And that's what they have taught me, even though there were times that may not be as, as bright and you still would like to hope. So after all these tragedies, what um, GRC has been doing, us as community college here, um, as, one of, as uh, one of the ASGRC senators here, what we have done is we have created a flyer that contains all the information and knowledge where pe people can gain about the earthquakes that happened in Turkey and Syria. Um, if you go all around our campus, you will see all these flyers. And these flyers include a QR code where it will take you to um, a website that we have created which contains reliable organizations that have already been helping um, Turkey and Syria in these, tra in these tragic moments. So, as GRC, this is the best solution we were able to come up with. But, what are the needs and how here you guys can, what you guys can do to help people that are still suffering in Turkey and Syria? By scanning the QR code here, like I said, you will find reliable organizations that have been already doing lots of lots of work to help people out in Turkey and Syria. And those, and the help that you will be doing will be directly gone through people that are experiencing and needs of medical, food and hygiene supplies, uh, social and mental health support, which is really important at these times, as well as economic support to build shelters for people who have already lost their homes. So before I go to the next slide, please, please, please take the time to scan the QR code and see how or what kind of help you can do to um, be a better support for people who are experiencing tragedies in Turkey as well as Syria. Okay, so right now here we are streaming as a couple of our friends mentioned and we are helping out um, uh, and we are raising awareness for um, war that happened in Ukraine, as well as major earthquakes that happened in Turkey as well as Syria. And one thing I would like us to keep in mind is no one knows that the same thing will happen as well as here. We can make plans for five minutes later, for five years later, and even for 50 years later. But who knows tomorrow who knows what will happen? So therefore, I would like to end up my presentation by asking you guys a question. So if you could raise one of your hands, everyone, raise one of your hands. Can you make a sound out of this? No, right? But it is small, right? However, if we unite those together, if we unite these both hands together, we can make a better and greater impact. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, okay, so here, if you guys have any questions or any concerns or anything you would like to share, I'm here to listen and of course, answer any questions you may have. Yes. Of course, why not? Oops. Uh, 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 once again. 
technology. There it is. <laughs> okay, all right. That's all. Thanks so much. Once again for coming here. Thank you. Thank you. Days and days doing biology projects without sleeping, without drinking, without eating. This guy, this guy, he's like my brother. And the beautiful presentation he gave you, we wanted to make you guys hear this, even though, you know, there's a lot of information. You know, all of what he gave you, he kept talking and talking and talking, but I feel like it was important because he, he saw this. He has people that lived through this. And we felt like it's our responsibility to give a person like this a chance to talk. And right now, let's go for our next couple of songs. I hope you guys enjoy again, all right? Thank you guys again, and let's enjoy.
Thank you. Waiting for that guy. But that would explain it. Okay, hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi guys. How's everyone night today? Doing great. Yeah. I got right, two cool. more songs for you. We'll just bring it down, you know, bring the mood down. Uh, a bit of chill. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? That's exceedingly simple. Don't be so teeny. We're making music. What's the point? We're not making anything. Well, if it's not anything, then why does that sound so good? It's interest, I suppose. Don't be so dull. Devoid of substance or purpose. A hypothetical pattern. Satisfaction of bringing it to completion. Sure. Don't me so tea. It's just not meaning. Solutions are not problems. And then you just add words. Here's what I've been working on. Life and death and love and birth and peace and war on a planet Earth. Is there right. anything that's worth more than peace and love on a planet Earth? Whoa. Come on and sing it with me. Sing. The words relate to the key. The key. If it's a pattern, if it's a pattern, just repeat after me. Life and death and love and birth and death and love and birth And you said me, fa, me, me, fa, me, ti, la And peace and war on the planet Earth Yes, yes, that's it! Exactly it! That's so easy Yeah, but that's what's fun about it You should write something You should write a song About what? Anything! Anything can write Yes, 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 yes. Love and death and love and birth and love and birth and life and death and love and birth and peace and war on the planet Earth. Whoa. Is there anything that's worth more? Is there anything that's worth more? Is there anything that's worth more than peace, peace and love on the planet Earth? So peace is beautiful, love is beautiful, but what is even more beautiful? Music. Music is the most Music. beautiful thing in the world, of course. Okay? So we have had a lot of performances. So we've had a lot of performances. And you guys saw a lot of talent, a lot of different songs being sung. Be it, be it soft or strong, we wanted to show that there's ways to deal with conflict. There's ways to deal with these disasters, and we're here to promote these ways and to say that these people are strong. We want to show that we here care about these people and their experiences. Okay? And you know, as I mentioned, music is powerful. And this whole event is to show that music unites. It brings us all together. So for the last song, we'll play a beautiful, beautiful song, one of my favorites actually. And I hope to see you guys singing in a short while as well. Okay? Thank you guys so much. It's about unity, so please join us. We'll sing this song, and you can join us in the part where it makes everyone join in a beautiful harmony in a way where you can feel strength, you can feel strength in numbers, you can feel unity, you can feel us standing together. Now, what my beautiful friend said, Rome, music unites us, and one of my favorite songs ever 
has one of my favorite quotes ever. Uh, divided we fall, together we stand. So united together was determined to show this. So please join us in this last song as we perform for you and get you the final act of the night.
so much for coming down here today. We know that as clubs, it's our responsibility to showcase something that's more important in the world. To use our position to bring highlights to people that need our need to hear from us, need to have their voices heard. Thank you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed Thank it. Thank you. Uh, on the way out, there are posters. If you want to write wishes to people in these countries, Turkey, Syria, Ukraine, please go ahead. Write them a good wish. And thank you so much for coming down here today. Thank you, guys. Thank you. If I may just have one moment before you all leave. This entire event has been planned over months with multiple people. A group of over 20 have been working for numerous months to bring this event to you not only on this stage, on YouTube, on Twitch, and we even got our voices heard internationally. We had a famous actor from Turkey repost our material to inform the public that some group of kids, some group of adults, young people have been hearing all the tragedies, all the devastation, and they worked to do something to make it better. So I would like you to join me in thanking and just having every single person who worked on this show feel appreciated. Can I have all the volunteers, all the performers, every please staff, on every officer, join us please as we please just get to our stage. end of show acknowledgements. Yep, yep, let's get on stage join us, guys. Please. Let's, let's give it up for Clap people that up. work hard, thank you. Come all on of these people, all of these people, and Jasmine over there that's recording, her too, they've been doing a great job guys. Okay. They have spent months with us, organizing, fighting, quarreling, but still getting this job done. I love these people from the bottom of my heart. They're like family to me, every single one of them. And a very big thank you to conference services, Sam and Chris up there, who, could, with, who without them, we could not make this any of it possible. Thank, thank you thank guys you. so much. That cool video that you guys saw with me giving a speech, that's thanks to them as well. Thank you. All of you guys, Let's come to the front. Of the guys, come to the front. Come to the front. Come to the front. Come to the front. Are one of our biggest performances. Thank you. Thank you guys so on much. Three, three, one, two, two, one. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys. Thank you so much again for coming in. Group photo. All right. Can I have everyone stay for group photos? Maria. Group photo. And welcome to. Please, if you want to join us for the group photo, feel free to. <laughs> Come join us if you want to be in the group photo. Okay. Come on up, Paz. Jasmine, you're part of us. Come here. He, there's a professional photographer. Come. <laughs> no, no, stay, stay, stay. I'll join you. You and I. All right. We're gonna have to make this fit. We're gonna have to make this fit. So some people have to be in front. Short people in front. Come on. Tall people in the back, short people in the front. Shorter people in the front. Rasha, you're short. We all know it. Get your ass in the front. <laughs> Come in the front. Let's make it a little more because the camera does not catch all this. All right, are we good, Tat? Oh my goodness, is that that many of us? All right. Everybody look over there to Tat. I hope all of you guys have a good night. Thank you so much for joining us today. You guys are the best, thank you.